Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. In the series I'm putting together, we started off on Mars and we're going back to Earth. And the primary mission here uh, is just to use IMFD to make the journey from Mars to Earth. And then kind of uh, also one of the primary objectives was to arrive back at Earth using, the Earth, uh, using Earth's atmosphere as a break so that we didn't have to use any main fuel or anything like that. And we've achieved both of those objectives. So now let's just go ahead and switch camera views, jump back into things. Uh, when we left off in the last video, when we brought the XR2 through Earth's atmosphere, uh, we did a pretty good job of, uh, you know, doing our atmospheric braking maneuver, but it wasn't ideal. Uh, ideally, you know, we would end up in uh, either a parking orbit at Earth, or we would, you know, transition and land immediately. Um, but I didn't control the pitch quite right, and we ended up with an apoapsis of 17M. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to, apoap up, up to apoapsis, bring down our periapsis a little bit, and then we're gonna make one more pass through the atmosphere just to see if we can bring the apoapsis down to something closer to a parking orbit. So my goal here is to get it under 1M, and preferably under 500K, uh, I would say, between 200 kilometers and 500 kilometers, that's the target. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so we are uh, about 9,000 seconds almost away from apoapsis. We opened the radiator at the end of the last video, so let's go ahead and time warp forward up to apoapsis. And when we get there, we're going to just do a small adjustment to our, uh, to our periapsis. So we're about 400 seconds out, 300, 200, 100. All right, let's go back. Let's go to prograde position here. Okay, turn off the prograde autopilot and kill rotation. And we're just going to use linear translation to bring down the periapsis, but by a little bit. Translation. And we're going to go this time for 60 kilometers, which we know for sure is safe uh, because we were, we were coming back from Mars at really close to 12 kilometers per second, and we, we did that at 65 kilometers, and I think that was actually a little high. I think we could have got away with 64. Uh, I would say at least 64.5, maybe even 64. Okay, so we brought the periapsis back down to 60 kilometers, so let's go ahead and warp time forward and get down to the low point of the orbit, which is about 7,000 seconds away, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. 1,000, let's be a little bit careful on our time warp. And when we get down to like 500 kilometers, about right here, let's go back to real time. Let's go ahead and go to prograde for now, just to get the ship oriented into an orientation that we like. And turn off the prograde autopilot. Rotation. And we're gonna go ahead and rotate upside down and in toward the earth, just so the um, autopilot has less work to do. About right here-ish. All right, let's go to this view so we can see what we're doing and we'll go back to a 70 degree, 70 degree pitch for the initial part. And we're about 300 kilometers uh, up. Let's go ahead and warp time forward just a little bit more and we need to remember to bring in the radiator. So when we get down to 200 kilometers, we'll go back to real time Turn on the APU, bring in the radiator. All right, and I would say we're close enough now we can go ahead and engage the autopilot, but let me first get the vessel Translation. oriented again. So I like it to be, you know, on what I call the center line. And then I don't know quite where the pitch angle is gonna be at, but it's something like here, like around no, actually, I think it's around 290, something like this. So then we'll engage. Yeah, we're pretty close. All right, so we're now at about 140 kilometers. So uh, again, the goal now, we don't have to worry about burning up. So the goal here is just to, I wanna bring the, the apoapsis down 
and again, my my perfect target is gr uh, greater than or equal to 200 kilometers, less than or equal to 500 kilometers. But if it's under 1M, I will be reasonably happy. Let me actually do one thing though. Turn this off for just a moment. Just not quite lined up right. right. I'll go ahead and engage that again. And I can't really do any time warp for this part, you know, because when we start getting effect from the atmosphere, if we time warp, it's just going to spin things out of control. We'll end up burning up, crashing, or something like that. And we're drifting off again, so let me bring this a bit closer once again. And engage. Now I can't mess with it because we're getting into the atmosphere at this point. Alright, so apoapsis is coming down. Alright, now we need to watch our numbers here. Alright, so apoapsis is 16... Apoapsis is 15, and we're still about 10 kilometers away from our low point. About 7 kilometers away from our low point. Apoapsis is 12.5, about 5 kilometers away from the low point. 10 km, uh, 10 m on our apoapsis, getting very close to the low point, so I'm trying to decide if I want to continue, um, and just let the vessel drag through and back out, or if I want to adjust so that we stay la lower for a bit. <clears throat> apoapsis is 6.5. I think we might be okay. I think we might just be able to drag through and go back out. Apoapsis is 5. Okay, we're almost at the low point. Alright, I think we're actually going to have to do something here, unfortunately. Um, Alright, so disengage. Warning, hull oh, temperature. Man. Ah. Didn't make my decision soon enough. Shoot. Well, it happens. Let's see if we can reset that alarm. Oh wait, we can't, we're all dead. Alright, so... Unfortunately, I don't have a save point, and the, the previous save point was all the way back at 0 0.5. Um, gravitational influence from Earth. That was when I did. That was the last time I did a save. So I'm gonna have to back up to that point, and maybe I'll do that, or maybe I will just call this the end of the mission because uh, we did achieve the primary objectives, and obviously I didn't have to come back through the atmosphere. I could have just used main engine, but I was uh, wanting to just use the atmosphere one more time just to bleed off a little bit more. But I let myself get. Uh, too low, and I tried to spin back over too late, um, so we crashed and died. All right, well, that's going to obviously wrap it up for this video, and um, I don't know if I will do another part on this one or not, so if there is not another part, then this was the end, uh, and if you do see another part, then I will see you in the next video.